Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Claudio Nocata had a face-to-face -face with Renee about the match next week. And uh, it's just kind of a back and forth. Okada called him a bitch. And then Claudio ended up saying, I want the true Rainmaker, not this bootleg version. I want the Tokyo Dome Okada. Yeah, the G1 we'll winner. We'll see if we get him next week. I'm not yeah. Uh, confident. Yeah, the G1 winner. The um, um, Okada said that he is the greatest tournament wrestler of all time because he's won four G1 tournaments. So there you go. Um, I mean, it was a face-to-face, -face and, uh, you know, yeah, we'll see how the match goes and uh, see what that leads to Wembley. Obviously, it should lead to something. I don't think that they, you're putting it on TV where that's the TV is the end result. The TV should be the catalyst for something. But, man, you know, I mean, I mean, I guess you can, you know, you got the, you got enough of the top of the card. It's fine. But I like, I like, like, 10 days out on a show of this caliber where you... You know, you kind of know the whole card. Well, and, funny you should mention that because Christian comes out next. We still don't have a trios title match. No, they really. didn't. They didn't make the announcement that it's a three way at all. No, and and the tag title, also we don't know. Although apparently that will probably be settled on Saturday. But the thing is, is okay. So they've been building a three way for the for the tag title for months. It feels like, or certainly a month, and they just did that finish that they just did on Saturday. They did another one on this show. So it's kind of like... Yes, they're doing the exact same thing in two programs to set up two three-ways on the same show. So Saturday in Collision, are they going to do like a no contest where the Bucks attack both I of them? I presume so. That's like I mean, otherwise one of those teams isn't working Wembley. Or they'll just be in that gauntlet, I guess. I guess. But I mean, I wouldn't. And I do mean, this. honestly, like, what we're gonna have? We already saw Bucks and FTR on Wembley last year. Yeah. So and we, and we just and we, saw Bucks and just Acclaim saw the tonight. We just saw the Bucks. So it and should Acclaim be a three-way. Yeah, I I would rather they just did a three-way rather than like this match for it because then you got to do then you got to do the same finish that you just did or an offshoot. It won't be the exact same finish, but an offshoot of the same finish that you know we just literally saw on Saturday on two straight Saturdays. We had a hook promo, and he challenged Chris Jericho to a match tonight. He's got an eye patch on after getting burned. And Jericho came out and said, you want a match tonight? Well, not happening in Norfolk. But I will give you the match at Wembley Stadium. Two caveats. Number one, it's your final chance. If I beat you, you can never fight for this title again. And second, next week in Cardiff, you must face Big Bill. And Bill says, I'm going to beat you down and shove you straight up Taz's ass. And Taz in the booth laughs, and even Hook cracked. And Jericho says, I'll see you at Wembley. So that's the match. Big yeah. Bill and Hook in Cardiff. I've seen that visual a couple times. It's a tough one. Well, it's a tough it. one. That, that Big Bill is awfully big, and, and he Hook is, is awfully big. And Hook is awfully small. I mean, you know, he'll still throw them around. I mean, like, they've done that. You know, I mean, I, I kind of can visualize what the match is because I've seen seen it enough. You know, them interact a lot. It's still a tough one, though. But, you know, I mean, Hook has to beat him. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Young Bucks in a claim for the tag team titles. So, uh, really good match, really bad finish. They're going back and forth at the end. They went 18 minutes. Matt gives Max a low blow, demands a tag belt. FTR runs down, grabs the belts from him. The referee's taking a bump, by the way, so he's down. Then Matt spits in Dax's face. Dax tackles him right as the referee wakes up. It is a disqualification. And Chris Daniels then announced FTR versus Acclaimed on collision. Winners will get the Young Bucks at Wembley. Yeah. So this all sounds yeah, the acclaimed very familiar. The Acclaimed was furious at FTR for costing them the tag title match. Yep, yep. We got the Brian Danielson video package. He actually used Green Day for this video package. It was, it was incredible great. Incredible little package. Footage from ROH, footage from AEW. Obviously, um, no WWE footage. Well, obviously. There's no. a giant missing 10 year gap in this video package. Yeah. But as far as Dynamite videos, this was like one of the greatest. This was awesome. Was really, this was really, this was really, really well done. Yeah. I mean, look, they, they're. 
they're doing a. They, I think the Tonight Show did a great job for uh, Swerve and Brian Danielson. I thought Swerve did a great job in the match with Wheeler Yuta. Um, you know, it's. I thought he mostly did. Yeah. This was not a match where Yuta needed to be almost submitting Swerve and almost pinning him. I mean, the match was going along great when Swerve was just murdering this guy right in front of Brian Danielson. That was like the whole point of it. Like, he's just killing this guy, and he's torturing this guy. And Danielson's there in the front row, and he's all concerned. His young protege is getting killed. And all of a sudden, Yuta's making this giant comeback, and he's hitting all these moves, and he's trying to submit him with an ankle lock. And so finally, uh, Swerve hits three house calls, and the referee stops it after a ground and pound. And Brian hits the ring. Swerve gets out of there and he says, I'm going to show you and the rest of the world why I'm the most dangerous man in AEW. I'm going to do it in front of 50,000 people at Wembley. Bring your daughter so she can sit front row and watch me beat you in retirement. I'm so going to cripple I, I, you, he says. I, I guess he's bringing the kids. That's what he said. He's bringing the family. Bring, bringing the kids to, to England. So, so then uh, Brian goes to check on Wheeler and Swerve returns and hits him with a house call. And leaves him for dead. This was the best thing they have done yet for Brian versus Swerve. Yeah, they did. A, they did a, a, another one of those things after the show. An awesome off-camera Brian Danielson interview that was yes. not on television. Yes. 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 Yes, they did. He's he's doing this now also for Wheeler Yuta. Yeah. Who was killed by Swerve. So yeah, overall, this actually felt like a go-home show. Other than the fact that we don't have like, half the matches, well, but, we got all the we, we got most of the key ones. But yeah, I would like to have seen. Well, you know the thing is, is the, the go home shows next week, not this week, and you know they're going to lay out, you know, a couple more. I mean, we pretty much. I mean, the only question that we really, the only question we really have is, I think we got the whole card. Because the only question is, is like, uh, are they going to do something with Okada? You know, because everything else, I think we we got. And he's in that gauntlet. That's what I'm thinking. Well, we'll see. We did, in fact, by popular demand, watch Ready to Rumble. The champion is some fat loser. Yeah, he's a completely talentless, no athletic ability, can't wrestle, it, broke bum that walked out on his wife and kid. But he and was he's over. the it, world champion. He and was, in the he, movie, the Well, yeah, but that's is, a microcosm of wrestling, sadly. Yes, he feels so bad about drinking this entire slushy that cost a dollar twenty six, and he he sticks his finger in his asshole and walks up to the clerk. Lancey and, Lance is dying. How could the movie be so bad? I'm not going to fault the man for that. Of all the things in the movie, I thought okay. for sure you were going to say you'd done this before. There's a reason I'm not going to fault the man for that. I, I just think with all the porta potties and farting in this that I think Vince McMahon was a secret uh, producer on this film, had to have been. So then we get the, the Shermanator. He's played a WCW arcade game. He uses some internet sleuthing to find the personal information of Jimmy King. He's searching the internet. Can find out anything on here. This movie is so antiquated. Every Nitro Girl is in a Nitro Girl outfit, except for this girl. And they had they her dance in something to totally different. Out, Brian, like the captain. So we're so stupid. I got it. Captain yes, Stabbing. If you're watching this film, you're that stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I was also insulted by the fact they hired Michael Buffer to announce the Royal Bash, the fake ass Royal Bash. $24 million budget. Wow. And probably 500000 of that went to Michael Buffer. It made 12. You know, we he should unveils. mention, this This cage match is the triple-decker cage of doom. Everybody buried it. It was horrible. Everybody hated it. And, uh, and so they decided to make a movie. And what is the final battle? It's another goddamn triple-decker cage match. This would be like in, in 2010 if, like, TNA made a movie and the final, the final match was a reverse battle royal. They throw powder in someone's face, DDP's, I think, or somebody's. And the dude just looks at him and goes, it doesn't work. And it's like, of course, because wrestling's fake and stupid. Should we just end it there? What a, what a sound bite. There has never been a movie I have watched in my entire life, which has made me hate myself more. Wow. I'm ashamed that I'm even in the place at 41 years old where I would end up reviewing this movie 
for money. I would have thought I would have made it out of here by now. You know what I mean? I'm done. Well, everyone, hopefully we can do this again someday. Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe.